Quilt Nation, Quilt Marine here. So we're continuing on with our Butterfly Magic Kaleidoscope quilt. I guess what that's what we'll call it today. But all right, we're, we're, last time we left off, we were cutting our layers, right? We got our, our measurements. We, we measured off 24 inches across. So in that 24 inches, uh, we're going to cut four inch strips. All right, so we should get six, six four inch strips cut out of that 24. And then we're gonna work out of that, okay? So if you check it out, we got our, our um, 24 inch cut, all right? And the reason why it's 24, for those of you who didn't catch the last video, is because from this point, all right, on the print to down here is 24 inches, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut 24, we're gonna cut our, our six inch, I mean, our four inch strips, okay? And we should get six cuts out of this, okay? So very important. We lined up our layers, right? So in order for me, all right, because my brain doesn't work like everyone else's brain, in order for me to keep this still, even regardless of how sharp your blade is, I'm using pins, all right? And the way I use the pins, all right, uh, I learned this from Donna Jordan's um, channel, is I find a point, all right, say, so look at this. All right, so you see that little uh, pink or lavender spot right there? So you find a spot like that, right? And you're gonna put your pin through it. So what you wanna do is peel each layer back and make sure you find that same exact point, put your pin through it, all right? Peel it back, same thing. And sometimes when you drive, when you got it lined up right, the pin will, will pick it up by itself. Pin through it, peel it back. Pin through it. Let's peel it back. I've got six cuts of this, okay? Pin through it. Let's peel it back. I hope you can see that. And pin through it right there. All right, so the pin is going to keep that fabric lined up, all right? All right, so what I do is I try to stand to keep the pin standing up because I'm not cutting over here in this. I'm cutting all the way over on this side, okay? So I know with the pin through it, it's, it's going to be aligned as much as possible, okay? Don't go overboard, all right? Don't have a brain aneurysm trying to figure out how close you are because don't forget, you're going to be doing, when you put them together, your quarter inch seam allowance is going to actually make up for that, maybe that, that off alignment, all right? Or what Rob called wonky alignment or whatever, okay? Yeah, I mentioned Rob, that's my boy, all right? Him and Andrew, all right? And also the guys, get it, guys at Soya, okay? So I, dig I, I digress. Look, so we're gonna do this cut, all right? So I have a very sharp blade in here, but I also have a 60 millimeter too. But I'm not, you know, sometimes my 60 millimeter is like losing a tire off a car. It likes to go in its own direction sometimes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this very sharp blade, okay? So I'm four inches over. So I'm gonna make sure, all right, because, all right, I'm just gonna measure and make sure I'm at four inches, all right? From here to here, four inches, okay? Four inches, and we're there, okay? So let's make a cut, okay? And press down. All right, so the importance of the cut, all right? Well, make sure when you are when you have a lot of layers like this, you're not pushing your blade, all right? You have to be above and on top of your blade, pushing across, okay? Not like this, all right? I haven't made cuts like this, all right? When I first started, because I didn't know anything about rotary cutters, but handling of the blade is very important when doing a kaleidoscope as well, okay? So, we're gonna pull these four, that, that's one slice, right? So we're just gonna move over four inches and so on and so on until we're completely done all the way across. But, all right, don't just start sliding across, repeat everything you did, did on the previous strip or the next strip. So I have plenty of pins, so I'm gonna leave these pins in and I'm just gonna grab more pins, all right? So I know you, you guys probably don't wanna watch this tediousness, all right? We're just gonna slide over four, all right? Now, my, this this mat is like, it's old. 
I mean, I've been cutting on it for a long time, all right? Some of the numbers have worn off, all right? It's an Arteza, you know? I'm sure they've probably, this is when Arteza first came out, really. And I'm sure there are plenty of mats out there that could provide you great accuracy. But because of this mat being so used and so worn, you know, sometimes I have to peel my, I have to lift my fabric up to look at, at my measuring lines, okay? But I'm gonna fix that with a mat that I put down for the whole table. But you have to be careful, okay, on this, all right? So you got a great cut right now. So the best thing to do right now that you have a great cut is start putting pins in, all right? Because it wasn't the very first edge, it's your second edge that you just cut, all right? So let's pin it. So let's start right here, all right? Let's go with this, this yellow dot right here, all right? I'm gonna go, let's go to the front of it. Yeah, you have to be that accurate, okay? Let's go to the front of that yellow dot right there on the butterfly wing and pin it, all right? That three over. Let's pin it right there. Right there. There. It's not good enough. There. Ooh, that was almost in there, huh? All right, in there. Pull them all through. So we know at that point it's lined up, okay? I'm gonna kind of massage that pin so it's straight, all right? All right. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add a couple more. Then when we come back, we'll, we'll make a cut because I wanna be accurate on this because this thing is gonna come out pretty sick and I don't wanna throw it off. But remember, don't wrap your, I mean, it's only fabric and it's only thread, okay? So remember your quarter inch seam allowance, when you start putting together your kaleidoscope, it's gonna cover up some of the mistakes that you, uh, well, not mistakes, but some of the alignment that you don't have exactly right, okay? Um, this is a, this is a, uh, th you know, this is a quilt top that you can be off a little bit. All right. Don't overthink it. All right. But you just don't want to be off that often. Okay. Cause you'll start noticing it in the kaleidoscope. When you start putting your kaleidoscope together, you'll start noticing the wonkiness in the kaleidoscope. Okay. Hopefully we won't have any to show you for an example, but if I do, I don't mind it. Let me make the mistakes so you don't have to. All right. When we come back, we'll have some pins on this. Okay. All right, so we got our pins in. So we're gonna measure off our four inches, okay? So, so I like to use my, this ruler, ruler and ruler, okay? Um, that's four. That's four. Ah, oh, I should knock the pin out, no worries so. though. Okay, so I have a line here. make our cut all right so we're going to cut this and then i'm going to show you how we lay that lay it out okay it's our second strip okay so you get it right so we're just moving over we're moving over i'm, I'm going to cut fours all the way to the end all right so once once I get done with those fours all the way to the end, okay, let's open this up, all right? Let's pull our pins out. Okay, so look, on my very first kaleidoscope, the, the biggest mistake that I made was I was I started cutting my um my um 60 degree triangles as it was folded and I, and it was like crazy. I was like, why am I coming up short? And I had to figure it out, okay? But what we're gonna do is each place, we're gonna pull it up, we're gonna open it up, all right? Open it up. Each slice, we're gonna do that, all right? Make sure you have it opened up before you start cutting anything, all right? Let's get this out of the way here. Move this over as well. Okay. We're just gonna open this up and lay them all out. And when you lay them all out, 
lay them as, as they open up, all right? Exactly the same. You know you got your cut, you know you, you, you did your cut well, so just gonna lay them out individually, one by one. First thing we're gonna do is gonna cut off our salvage edge. Probably could have did this earlier, but I just wanted you to see it, all right? So from here, lay right on the salvage edge, make sure everything's lined up. Do not manipulate your fabric, all right? What I mean by that is don't stretch it, all right? Just lay it down, all right? It'll do, it'll, it'll lay where it's supposed to lay, all right? When you start stretching it, you'll warp one layer while the other layer, while a layer beneath it will lay true. So you don't want to do that, okay? Just, just lay it down. It'll be all right. Okay, let's lay this down here. Same thing. Pull it out like that. So this tail end out here, I'm not worried about because my first cuts, I'm going to start down here. And then as I get closer to here, I'll pull it in and start laying it out and, and making sure everyone's lined up right, okay? And the reason why you have six, the reason why I have six um, layers laid out is because these are the six sides you need for your kaleidoscope, all right? for government work, right? Okay, so we have our layers laid out, all right? Six of them, to be exact. All right, and everyone's laid pretty, yeah, pretty much exactly where they're supposed to be, okay? So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna get rid of this, all right? So let's go ahead and cut the salvage edge off first. Now, when I cut salvages off, I don't I don't ever cut on the line because if for some reason the lower layers aren't aligned, there'll be like a little white strip there, then you'll be recutting again. All right, so I usually go like a quarter of an inch away from the salvage, and then I'm gonna we're gonna check it. All right, let's cut that off here. That's trash. All right, so let's take a look at what we have here. Okay, now that that salvage edge is off, let's 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 make some real cuts, okay? Sixty. All right, I have a sixty-degree triangle uh, ruler here. I have a piece of tape here at four inches, okay? If I don't have this four inches measured off, this thing would be crazy. I need this, all right? Maybe you don't need it, but I need it. This line right here at the top of the tape is exactly four inches from this tip right here, okay? So. A great technique probably to do, all right, would be to turn it this way so that you're cutting, because I'm a right-handed cutter, so it's hard for me to cut left-handed, so I have to take as many advantages as I can. First cut, all right? See how I'm at this edge? Let's make sure that edge is true. All right. Edge to the top. See that top? See how it's, it's right at the edge there? All right, let's make a cut. And these cuts are easier because you're using the root. I mean, um, these cuts you have to be careful with, all right? All right, so your first cut, you would think that this is waste. It's not waste because you're gonna need these later to fill in the gaps along the edge of the quilt, of the quilt top, sorry. All right, here's a second cut. Okay, let's go with the second cut here. So this is the problem, right? You have to rework, go the other way, all right? And come down now, all right? No worries. Nice cut. All right, so let's put this together. Let's pull this off. Let's take a look at what we have here. And this is why you have six, because you needed six to create your triangle. I mean, your, um, what was that, a hexagon? I guess it's a hexagon. Two. They all should be the same. Remember, you're layered, right? Two. All right, 
So let's go with this, this, okay, this. Well, you, you guys can see that already, right? You can see how it's coming out already, right? That's pretty cool. That. All right, pay attention because you could lose yourself, all right? That. That. And there. Okay? That's what we're going to work with. That's pretty cool, right? All right, so... Now that you have this, all right, don't jump up and down and cheer, all right, and pat yourself on the back because you have to put these together. So when you put these together, remember, put three together, three together. Don't put them together complete, all right, the whole together because you need to put it on the board to see what you're working with. So when you put these together, all right, all right, you put these together, quarter inch seam, then just pin it together and you'll have one piece so that later when you figure out what you want to do on your wall on your design wall you're not stuck all right don't put yourself in a hole okay so when we come back uh we're gonna sew these together we'll make our first hexagon that's hexagon right six-sided right i think i don't know comment below i think it's a hexagon i think all right anyway so we'll put them together we'll put a bunch together and then we'll put them on the wall and then we'll, we'll lay them out how we want them to lay on the, as a quilt top, okay? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and remember, it's only fabric and it's only thread.